All right, today we're going to talk about some of my favorite plants. We've got an upcoming plant sale on Thursday afternoon, and so I want to go through some of the plants that are great for winter interest as well as a couple for summer as well. This is one of my favorite evergreens. It's uh, an arborvitae called DeGroote Spires, and DeGroote Spires grows tall and slender, so it's a great plant for a person that doesn't have a lot of room, but it also works great in containers. You can use it several years in a container before planting it out on the ground. So DeGroote Spires will end up being two or three feet wide, but eventually maybe 20 feet tall. So it's a fun evergreen to have in the landscape, a very tough plant, drought tolerant once established as well. And coming on down, a couple of wonderful deciduous hollies. Now deciduous means it loses its leaves, and oftentimes people don't think about um, hollies losing their leaves, but there are a lot of different kinds of hollies, and this particular one does. So it's called winterberry holly. This particular winterberry holly is called winter gold, and it's really not gold. You see here it's more a salmony color as it's beginning to turn uh, late in the season here. But uh, winterberry holly will grow in full sun to part shade, in a wet soil or just your average moisture level of soil. Winterberry is also great to cut on and use in winter arrangements as well. And then coming on down, its first cousin is one called Winter Red. And Winter Red has, as you see here, the red berries. So beautiful red berries on Winter Red, again, a good cut uh, holly as well. And because it's deciduous, it's not prickly. It's not sharp like a lot of holly. So people think of holly sometimes as, as being prickly, and I don't want one of those. But this is a great plant to add to the uh, landscape. Uh, with both the winter red and the winter gold, you have to have a male pollinator. Now, all hollies are male and female. And with the winter red and winter gold, you have to have one called Southern Gentleman. And so we will have that available at our plant sale as well. So with the Southern Gentleman, you really need one Southern Gentleman for a bunch of females. So you don't have to have a lot of the males. So we'll have both of those available at the plant sale. Another plant uh, really neat for winter interest is called red twig dogwood, um, although this cultivar called cardinal doesn't actually get deep red, it's more a flaming orangey red. And you can see it's just beginning to turn, and as the cooler nights come on, uh, the, the colors will intensify, and by the uh, first of November, it'll be really uh, intense and will persist through the winter months. So, the Red twig dogwood is, is a true dogwood, but not your tri traditional dogwood that you're familiar with, the big white blooms. It actually has small little clusters of white blooms. You can actually see an old one here. Kind of like the size of, um, typically the size of like a Queen Anne's lace. This one looks a little small here. but um, So they bloom in, in the summer, not extremely showy, but again, when these leaves fall off and the, the cool temperatures come on, the stem color really intensifies. I like to use these also in containers as well as in the ground, and they will tolerate wet soil as well as average garden soil. Also, it's good to cut on in the wintertime. You can just cut it off near the base and bring those stems indoors or actually use those stems in containers where you just kind of stick it in the container uh, in with some of your other plants such as pansies and kale. Which brings me to the thought of we, are, we will have a large selection of pansies for sale uh, and some kale at the plant sale as well. Now I'll finish up with one uh, summer flowering shrub, but it also goes into late summer, especially if you deadhead it or fertilize it. This is Hydrangea paniculata, and this one is called uh, Limelight. Now Limelight will actually end up being a 10 to 12 foot tall plant, and when it first opens it's a limey green, sort of going to white, and then as it ages will come back to a limey green color. So this is actually on its second bloom. Um, but it's a great drought tolerant, sun loving hydrangea. There's hydrangeas for the sun, hydrangeas for the shade. This is a good sun loving one. And we'll have about 10 cultivars of the sun loving hydrangeas available, as well as 10 or 12 cultivars of the shade hydrangeas uh, as well. So the fall plant sale is Wednesday, October the 2nd from 5 to 7 for Friends of the Garden members. Now, if you're not a member or your membership has expired, you can join at the event. Uh, you also get $5 off of every $25 you spent up to $100, so you end up getting a lot of your membership fee back. Uh, that money is used to support the grounds and the gardens here. Um, and then the sale continues on Thursday from 3 to 6.30 in the afternoon, and you can also become a member at that time if you're not available to come on Wednesday. So we hope to see you at the fall plant sale where we'll have a large selection of great plants for winter interest as well as things that will be beautiful next summer in your garden.